I got my Vietnamese pronunciation book here. I am working on pronunciation. I'm working on Vietnamese in general. I have been living in Vietnam for one year now, uh, so I can speak a little bit. Plus, I've been studying a little bit. It's really on and off because even though I've been in Vietnam for a year total, I've still traveled a lot during that time. Like, spent many, many months outside the country. And so for the last five months, I've just lived in Vietnam and I'm like learning the language. Like I'm, I'm actively trying to learn language. So I have here a book of pronunciation. You can see, and I think this book is phenomenal. U, A, U, A, B, U, A, B, A. So, you know, you can go across and keep doing this. The thing is, you need someone else <laughs> to do this book with. Like, they, like, you know, someone needs to sit there and literally go through this with you. Um, but it's, I mean, it's been really helpful for me in my pronunciation. I think I'm doing pretty good. Like, I get a lot of people with reactions like, whoa, your pronunciation. And I like that. Like, I, I can barely say anything. I don't know much vocab. But my pronunciation, I think, is good. At least people are saying it. Uh, which is what I want. I can still tell there's some things I'm like forgetting or having difficulty pronouncing, so I spend more time working on it, and that, that's what I you know, like about this. One of the things I wanted to share with you is I mess up a lot of times in the language, and they're pretty bad mess ups. Like, and people, people keep making fun of it, and you know, I'm, I'm okay with it, it's, it's funny. And I'll give you an example of it uh, to say, you know, I go to the gym, right? I, I go to the gym a lot. I, I like the gym, and it's a big hobby of mine. I'm going four to five times per week. So I want to talk about that. So someone would ask me, and I would say, uh, you know, if they're younger than me, I might say, an di tap gim. And that's the correct way to say it now. Di tap gim. Uh, and I still might, might need to work on that. But what I used to say was, an di tap gim. Gym, I want to say gym, so an di tap gym. But apparently, gym sounds like chim, which means bird, and that's Vietnamese trend, like they use that word to say dick. So I would go say, go work out my dick. <sighs> that's like a pretty bad mistake to make all the time, right? And I wanted to tell, this is before I knew of this mistake, and the reason I learned it was a mistake is I'm sitting around all these Vietnamese people and we're talking about gyms, I'm trying to like go into detail about it. And, uh, you know, this one girl was talking about her gym and she was this big gym and I wanted to tell her I go to a small gym. So I said, an di tap gym nha. And then like she started, she's like, she didn't start laughing right away. Everyone did, but she was just like confused. And I was like, I think I said everything right. Like I, I think I pronounced it right. And then I looked over at my tutor, like, and teacher, and he's, like, in another conversation, but he, like, he's, like, you know, what's going on? And so I repeated it for him, and then he started cracking up laughing. I mean, he, he, like, understands a lot of what I'm trying to say, even if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, and then he told her what I meant to say, and then they both started laughing and then repeating it, and then, like, I'm sitting there, like, what, 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 what is it? What did I say? And then when they told me, I'm like, literally, we're sitting at a table. It's like me and my teacher. He's he's a you know he's a boy, and there's like three or four other girls at the table. And I'm like, what? I just said this, and the statement is, uh, I go to work out my dick smaller. Like I go to exercise my dick smaller. <laughs> like, ah, oh, what a mistake, right? And so, it's just such a common word for me to say. Jim, but in Vietnamese you pronounce that G, G, so Gim, Gim. And so now I'm really trying to be specific about remembering that. So even when I'm talking in English, I try to tell someone I'm gonna to go to the Gim, uh, just so I don't make that mistake anymore. But people at the gym are like, oh, well, what are you working out today? Tap Gim, <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, <laughs> they got me. I'm like, no, tap Gim, tap Gim. Um, okay, so there's another one uh, that I wanted to talk about, but you know, while I'm learning this and we're going through these different tones, because there's different ways, um, I'll give you, show you this. There's different ways to pronounce a sound. I don't know if it's gonna come out clearly. Bua, 
Jua. But there's the same word like bua, 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 bua. And uh, yeah, still that one I think is difficult for me. But there's so many different ways to pronounce this. And so I'm going to give you an example of some of the stuff where also a possible mistake could happen because I'm a little con bit confused as I'm trying to like hear these sounds. I have this book, yeah, and this one, which I was trying to just go through now so I could say this. But there is lun, lun, and that's times. Like I have been to Thailand five times, lun. And that's a word I hear a lot because people are saying like, how many times have you visited Vietnam? I don't even, I don't even know at this point. But uh, I hear that word a lot, so lun. And then there's vit lun, vit, vit lun. And it's, oh man, I'm, I'm probably already pronouncing this wrong. There's lun, lun, which is like a ballot, it's like a, a, a duck fetus. And then there's lun, and that means pussy. That literally means pussy, yes, a female's body part. That is, that's exactly what it, it means, and that's what people use it to refer to. And then there's lun, which is pork. So I'm going to say all four of these words, and I'm going to try to pronounce them correctly. Lun, 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 lun. And so I mixed up the order there. Let's see if you, <laughs> you know which one was which. I'm going to mix it up again. Lun, 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 lun. So to me, those sound very, very similar. And you know, I'm like reading it now, trying to pronounce it correctly, but when I'm not, it's like, I gotta remember what the tones look like. Cause if I get the tones wrong, then I could just say ah, the wrong thing. But the good thing is Vietnamese people, like they love joking. They just, they're, they're humorous and they love like sh shooting some, you know, back and forth conversation or joking around a lot in conversation. So. It'd be okay. And people know that I'm a foreigner, so if I mess up something, that's fine. I'm sure I've accidentally said something like that before. Let's see if you can see this. But yeah, I was writing it out to, to show you these like accent marks. I mean, you can see that I wrote this here, but uh, here's the accent marks. So I can literally uh, remember this. But yeah, just some simple examples of learning Vietnamese and where mistakes happen. I have never made this many mistakes in another language. I'd say the one time I think I made a mistake where I was like, oh no, it was in Spanish. I can't even remember. I can't remember what the Spanish word is, but this lady taught me it was something to say to uh, you know, a shopkeeper to be kind. And I just thought it was to say to any woman when you're saying goodbye, but apparently it was like just to a shopkeeper. This is in Peru. And so when the lady that taught me was walking away, leaving, I told her because, you know, that's what I learned. And then she's like, what did you just say? And apparently I said, like, I like your hips. And it wasn't even the same word that I meant to say, like, goodbye to that shopkeeper. And then people, like, didn't believe that I was, that I really messed up. They thought, Michael, you meant to do that. I'm like, no, I did. What? I don't know Spanish enough. I go, no, what? Is, I don't even know the word for hips. So, um, you know, Vietnamese people are still going to make fun of me. Everyone at the gym for the rest of the time for saying tap, tap chim instead of tap gin. And uh, I'm going to keep learning Vietnamese and hopefully not make too many more of those mistakes. See it.